Hi, this is Carla Hinton. I'm reporting for the Oklahoman and NewsOK.com. I'm here today in the studio with the Reverend Robert Hayes, Jr. He is Bishop of the Oklahoma Area United Methodist. That includes two conferences. I also have Clint Normore, who is the uh, director of OCU's Multicultural Studies Program, and he is also planning chairman of the Great Debaters 2.0, a weekend of events at OCU. I have to ask you all a very uh, just basic question. Okay. How did the Great Debaters Weekend uh, get started? What was the impetus for this particular weekend? All right, I can give you the, the, the genesis of it and Clint can sort of fill you in on how uh, OCU got involved in it. Uh, the Great Debaters, which was released at the um, end of last year, uh, uh, was a movie about Wiley College and uh, its debate with Oklahoma City University. Okay. And it was brought out in the movie that in the 1930s, these two schools debated each other, which was unheard of at that time, okay. an all-black institution and an all-white institution, and they debated here in Oklahoma City. Okay. And so light bulbs went off, and we did a little research and found out that there was a unique bond between Oklahoma City University and Wiley College nearly 80 years ago. And the people at Ovid, o Oklahoma City University took it up from there and entered into an agreement with Wiley College. That's right. President McDaniel uh, was watching the movie, and uh, he, like many of us, uh, saw that fact that was mentioned that Oklahoma City University was uh, uh, going to debate Wiley College, and, and a light bulb went off. Right. Uh, he made uh, outreach to uh, Dr. Strickland at uh, Wiley College to start developing some planning to get us reunited and okay. kind of. Um, uh, celebrate the fact that we were once uh, uh, connected in that way. Right, right, right. You know, just for the benefit of the, the audience, why was it so significant uh, back then in, in 1931 that these schools were going to agree to debate each other? Let's, let's kind of set a little historical um, uh, foundation for, for people. Well, the country was extremely divided along the lines of race. Okay. Uh, segregation was the order of the day. And especially in the South, uh, when you talk about uh, a little school in Marshall, Texas, and a school in Oklahoma City, uh, the lines and, and were deep, deeply drawn among uh, racial uh, lines. And so um, for these two schools to even engage in some type of uh, competition or um, something along the lines of, of them getting together was unheard of. Okay. And uh, so it's probably a tribute to the courage and the faith of those folks who, who ran those institutions back in the 1930s, that they would even think about something like this. Okay, okay. Now they're both Methodist affiliated universities, right? Yes. Is that right? Okay, okay. So they came together, you think, largely because they uh, had, were united in faith. Well, that, that's probably one of the strong uh, uh, bonds that brought them together, but even at that point in the history of the church, okay. uh, that was segregation. Uh, okay. Uh, there were there were not any uh, bridges to cross, so to speak, that would unite uh, white and black institutions. But obviously, there was something uh, that brought them together that was even stronger than their faith, mm -hmm. and and I do believe it was their courage to step out and to step up and do something like this and to bait one another. And uh, I just think it's a, it's just a really tribute to the connection um, that the United Methodist Church played, as well as to the people who brought this about. So now, Mr. Normore, can you tell me uh, about some of the events that are going to take place this weekend? Sure, yes I can. The uh, public events uh, begin on Friday with the showing of the Great Debaters, uh, which uh, begins at 8.30 uh, in our university center, Tom and Brenda McDaniel University Center on campus. Okay. Uh, Saturday, we start the day off with some competition, lively competition with our men's and women's basketball team at 2 and 4 o'clock respectively. Okay. Immediately following the basketball games, we have a reenactment, well, sorts of a reenactment of the debate, the original debate that took place between Wiley College and Oklahoma City University, which will be at our uh, chapel, Bishop Angie Smith Chapel on campus. Uh, that begins at 6 o'clock. And then um, Saturday, of course, we have a, or Sunday rather, morning, we have a tremendous worship service, uh, which is presented by St. Luke's, uh, and they have been so gracious. and and it is something that I think will uh, culminate the entire weekend, the celebration that we have uh, in store. Okay, all right. Now, uh, Bishop Hayes, can you uh, talk a little bit about what your 
uh, thoughts uh, were when you found out that this uh, special weekend was going to take place? Because obviously you have uh, great ties. Uh, well, I'm just extremely proud of um, the Oklahoma connection and what uh, uh, Dr. McDaniel has done with the administration there by taking the initiative to go to Wiley and say, hey, this great thing happened, you know, nearly 80 years ago. Let's, sure. let's, let's capitalize on that. Mm -hmm. I'm extremely proud of that. Uh, you know, Oklahoma City University, uh, on which I serve on the Board of Trustees, has, uh, has just a tremendous, tremendous uh, uh, reputation here in the community, and I think this will just further enhance uh, the connected, uh, okay. the, the connected uh, spirit of our United Methodist institutions. And so when I heard that, it was just like coming home again, you know, okay. just, just realizing that uh, uh, now I had even a greater tie to the Oklahoma community through Wiley College. And I think they have, uh, by going down to the campus, they have learned a lot about Wiley. And, and, and I hope that this weekend, the people who come from Wiley will take back a greater understanding of what Oklahoma City University is about. So it's a win-win situation for me in that I, I have uh, strong ties to both institutions and I'm just proud as I can be of, of the leadership of these institutions. Good. Well, thank you both gentlemen for coming in today to talk about these issues. Mm -hmm. This is Carla Hinton reporting for the Oklahoman and NewsOK.com.